Coding Stitches, Edna and Mildred's Digital Yarn In the quiet town of Meadowview, where the pace of life was as gentle as the rustling leaves and the neighbors knew each other's names, two septuagenarian friends, Edna and Mildred, embarked on an unexpected journey, learning to code. It all began one afternoon when Edna discovered an article about the wonders of technology, and the duo, always up for a new adventure, decided to dip their toes into the world of programming. Armed with laptops, notebooks, and a determination that belied their age, Edna and Mildred set out on their coding expedition. Their journey unfolded in the cozy nook of Edna's living room, where the scent of freshly brewed tea mingled with the crisp pages of coding manuals, a digital odyssey awaited them, promising to unravel the mysteries of the virtual realm. Edna, with her silver hair neatly tied in a bun, and Mildred, her floral hat perched on her head, delved into the world of HTML, Python, and JavaScript. They navigated through the intricacies of coding syntax, their fingers dancing across the keyboard like seasoned musicians orchestrating a symphony of zeros and ones. The initial thrill of creating their first simple web page, a digital homage to their friendship, fueled their enthusiasm. Edna marveled at the lines of code coming together to form a tangible result on the screen. Mildred, equally fascinated, exclaimed, Who knew we could create something so marvelous with just a few lines of text? Their excitement only grew as they progressed to more complex coding challenges. The binary world became a playground where they forged digital pathways, and the satisfaction of solving coding puzzles resonated in their laughter. However, the journey wasn't without its challenges. Debugging became a recurring nemesis, and at times the syntax errors seemed to mock their earnest efforts. Yet Edna and Mildred, undeterred by the obstacles, pressed on, finding solace in each other's company in the shared pursuit of a new skill. As the weeks passed, the duo embraced the coding culture with zeal. Online forums became their virtual hangout, and YouTube tutorials were their trusted mentors. They discovered a community of fellow learners and mentors who encouraged them through the intricacies of algorithms and data structures. One evening, as the sun painted the sky in hues of orange and pink, Edna and Mildred found themselves on the brink of a coding breakthrough. Their project, a digital representation of the town's historical landmarks, was nearing completion. Lines of code wove together to bring the virtual landscape to life on their screens. Edna, her eyes gleaming with pride, remarked, Mildred, can you believe we've come this far? We're like digital pioneers, exploring uncharted territories. Mildred nodded, her fingers tapping rhythmically on the keyboard. Indeed, Edna, it's a testament to our perseverance. We're proving that age is just a number, even in the digital realm. However, as they marveled at their digital creation, a realization dawned upon them. The joy of coding, while invigorating, came with its own set of challenges and frustrations. The digital landscape, though vast and intriguing, sometimes felt foreign and detached from the tactile world they cherished. One day, as they wrestled with a particularly tricky bug in their code, Mildred sighed and looked at Edna. Edna, my dear, do you ever feel like we're missing the warmth of the analog world? The feeling of yarn between our fingers or the soothing click of knitting needles? Edna, her eyes softened, nodded in agreement. The allure of the digital realm was powerful, but the comforting familiarity of their real-world activities beckoned. In that moment, a decision silently took root in their hearts. Perhaps the journey they sought wasn't solely in the realm of coding. And so, with a bittersweet acknowledgement, Edna and Mildred made the choice to pivot. They closed their laptops, set aside the complexities of syntax, and reached for something familiar, knitting needles and colorful skeins of yarn. The soft clinking of the needles, the rhythmic dance of the yarn, and the creation of tangible, tactile pieces became a welcome retreat. Edna and Mildred, with decades of experience as skilled knitters, found solace in the familiar motions of their craft. As they knit, purl, and let the yarn weave through their fingers, 
the room filled with the warmth of camaraderie. The code they had written, the digital landmarks they had created, faded into the background. What remained was the joy of creating something tangible, something that could be touched and shared. Their living room transformed into a knitting haven, with scarves, hats, and blankets taking shape under their skilled hands. The click-clack of the needles, accompanied by the occasional laughter and shared stories, became the soundtrack of their afternoons. One day, as the sun dipped below the horizon and cast a warm glow over their cozy abode, Mildred looked at Edna with a twinkle in her eye. Edna, my dear friend, do you feel the same warmth in knitting as you did when we were coding? Edna, her hands still moving gracefully with the knitting needles, smiled. Yes, Mildred. There's a certain magic in crafting something with our hands, in feeling the yarn between our fingers. It's a different kind of joy, but just as fulfilling. And so, Edna and Mildred embraced their newfound old pursuit with renewed passion. Their living room, once a hub of digital exploration, became a sanctuary of creativity and connection. The knitting needles and yarn, once set aside for a digital journey, became the threads that wove the tapestry of their friendship. As they created scarves for the upcoming winter, Mildred remarked, Edna, who would have thought our adventure in coding would lead us back to something so timeless and comforting? Edna nodded. Sometimes, Mildred, the journey is as important as the destination. Whether we're coding or knitting, it's the shared experiences and the joy of creation that truly matter. 